Cameron isn't the only dad penning his paternal thoughts. Tom Stern has written a lighthearted book for dads about the balancing act. It's called CEO Dad, How to Avoid Getting Fired by Your Family. Also with us is psychologist Dale Atkins, author of Sanity Savers, Tips for Women to Live a Balanced Life. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. You both have written about the balancing act that men and women face, but from opposite perspectives. Yes. Tom, let me start with you. You write sure. about this father who's a CEO dad. This is a, a satire. Absolutely. But really, it's hitting home because there are a lot of dads who are playing that role, right? I think the key what is... What are they? Well, I think the CEO dad is, it's kind of, I call it a syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's or even CEO dadism, I sometimes refer to it in that way. And I think it's rooted not just in the digital universe and the lack of boundaries, cell phones and all that, it's an insecurity where you feel you always have to prove yourself, you have to achieve and you get sucked into that vortex at work and before you know it your kids are wearing name tags and you know, you're lost. <laughs> and so, you're giving them promotions. Exactly. <laughs> Raises. That's right. So you know, you have to kind of settle down and recognize <laughs> that maybe there's a lot of self-centered fear and that you're doing fine and you don't have to conquer every situation that comes before you and that right. your family can come first. Dale, this is not something that is just gender specific because there are a lot of CEO moms as well who, you know, we bring our work home too. Right. But how do men handle it differently? Do you think they struggle as much as women do? I think they struggle differently and I think what Tom really referred to is this sense of this insecurity. You know, if you don't think you're going to do it really well, like parenting or housework or mm -hmm. really joining in, you may retreat and you may not do it at all, but there's this societal expectation mm -hmm. that men are supposed to be able to do all of this and and bring home a really great salary and it's been this expectation for a very very long time with the commuting and all of the digital world there's another issue and it has to do with how can this person really feel good about himself being involved with a family when mm -hmm. his family that he was raised in or his peers at work think that he's not really a great man or may he may be missing the competitive edge at work if he's not going to spend time at work and if he really puts his energy into his family men, men more de defined more by their careers yes Tom this this book um, really comes from a personal side of you, right? Yeah. I mean, you were at one point this CEO type dad, I'm sort of recovery. disconnected from the family. I'm, I'm you're right. recovering. It's a you're a recovering CEO dad. We're proud of you. You're doing a great but job. But you know what? But it, it came it, from a horrible yes. event in your life, and it changed your life around. Oh well, right? we had a horrible situation. We had a home invasion, and my wife was very badly hurt, and I had a gun put to my head, and my five-year-old saw the entire thing. And unfortunately, wow. for a lot of CEO dads, that kind of chaos, we're on such a freight train that it takes an earthquake to derail us. And, you know, in my case, that's what it took. I finally looked around and realized, oh my gosh, I've almost lost my family. And, and that yeah. woke me up. And so yet, your message it, in the book, don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait till life literally puts a gun to your head. And you have some quick advice here. You say, one for dads, give up control. Easier said than done yes, there, right? True. Make fun of yourself, too. Don't, yes. take, don't take things so seriously. Well, a perfect example is I've been joking with people about the fact that when, you know, CEO dads can be defensive. When I was told that I was going to be on the show with a psychologist, mm -hmm. my first reaction was, it's an intervention. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to bring my family out, my, my high school gym You're coach. You're safe with us. Yeah, so there is no that surprises. paranoia that, you know, because everybody at home gets angry and resentful, and then suddenly you get really, really defensive. You All have right. to break out of that. You know, I think that one of the things about this defensiveness is we are, we are in an amazing transition period and we are evolving into these different roles. And it's going to take time, but men need to be able to feel as part of their identity that they right. can do this and that this is comfortable and natural for them. And as a society, we have to support it. And if you really believe that your family right. comes first, then you need to make the changes to have that be an actual fact in your life. Dale Atkins, Tom Stern, thank you both so much. Thank you. And for more of Tom Stern's CEO Dad, watch for the animated series of one minute shorts called CEO Dad. It's coming to CNBC and CNBC.com this summer.